Hello and welcome to this cat to hik demonstration. In this demonstration I will be covering workflows of creating cat character inside Max and sending this cat character to both Motion Builder and Maya. To do this demonstration I'm going to be using a default base human cat character within 3ds Max. I first create this cat character and the first important thing to know is that for the spine and the neck these are procedural by default and need to be set to the keyframing parameter in order to have a one-to-one -one match with the animation I'm bringing back from HIK. The second thing I need to do is simply position my character in a T stance position. I can simply manipulate my cat rig in order to obtain this T stance position. This T stance is important for the HIK skeleton definition and is used as a reference pose for our retargeting being used with HIK. I can go through the different views and position my cat character using rotations or for IK controllers I can select these IK controllers and simply translate them to the proper position to reflect the ET stance position. All animation will be brought back onto these IK controllers without any issues. You can then select any piece of this cat character and use the send to motion builder as new scene function to transfer this cat character into motion builder as an HIK skeleton. This will automatically launch motion builder and load in this cat character. The first, first thing I'm going to notice inside motion builder is that this cat character is represented by a skeletal structure and that this skeletal structure already contains an HIK skeleton definition as you can see in the top right corner here. Now inside Motion Builder I can use any method to basically retarget animation onto the skeleton. Using the story tool is a very straightforward way of dropping in a clip and having this animation automatically be applied to the skeleton since it's pre-HIK defined. I can then use the story tool to blend different motions or edit the actual clip itself. In this case, I just trimmed it off a bit. I can then say, this is the final animation I want, and use the character controls to basically bake onto the skeleton. Once I use the bake to skeleton function, this will result in a selection, and I can hit the update button to update the selection back into 3ds Max. As you can see, this is immediate and the result is applied directly on my cat controllers. This is merged into a cat layer and as you can see, my icon controllers for the feet are also still active. This means we have not processed this into an FK only solution, but actually processed this onto the IK controllers that have been enabled. Whatever IK controllers are enabled before you bring this animation back will tell the import operation to basically bake this animation onto these IK controllers. You can see that once inside Max, I can actually offset, create layers, tweak this animation using these IK controllers, but I also have the exact same motion I had originally as an FK representation on the skeleton. Now to push this a little further, I want to take this animation and send it over to Maya. So I basically trimmed off the last part and just want this running part up to the jump. And I'll go into Maya to actually keyframe the jumping part of this animation using HIK. Using the Send to Maya option with a selection on my cat character, this will automatically launch Maya and import this character as an HIK character in the Maya context. Once in the Maya context, well then I can simply go into different tools and use the character controls to bake this onto a, onto a human IK control rig. So if I go into the Windows animation editors and open up the character controls, I can then use the bake and bake to rig function to transfer this animation onto an active HIK rig. You can see that the rig has been created and the animation baked directly. I now just activating the visibility of the joints or my skeleton of this character and then going to select my character and start keyframing. I could add layers and do this on layers. In this case I'm just extending the current layer with additional animation and I've actually now accelerated the video to um, go through the keyframing process. Now this is a very simple keyframe animation I'm doing with basically three main poses and I'm just going to leave it at that. I evidently could refine this much more and once I 
I've created these base poses, going in and playing with the interpolation, making a nice smooth jump through the air, making a hard hit um, of my uh, controllers on the floor for the landing. Um, I could go in between these uh, main poses and in body parts start uh, keyframing some in-between animation. But for the purpose, since this is not a video about keyframing, I just wanted to demonstrate the flexibility of it. And I can also see here how I'm using the full body solve to actually um, position my character, basically pose my character. So using the pinning options and the full body solve options to manipulate my character into the proper positions. Here you can see my final result of the three poses of this character running and jumping and landing. Now the last thing I'm going to do is basically keyframe the IK reach parameters so that when this character is flying through the air the legs are actually solving an FK but return to IK once they land on the floor to get the floor contact happening and an IK um, solve for the legs. So once I've corrected this I can use the bake function to bake this onto the skeleton like I did in Motion Builder. Hit the update button and here's the result back in 3ds Max on my original cat character. So you can see my IK controllers of the feet are still active. I have the original animation plus this keyframed animation that was done on the HIK rig inside 3ds Max. This is all on a single cat layer that can be edited. We can add additional layers, modify this animation, but this is just a demonstration of the flexibility that you now have going from cat to HIK and HIK back onto this original cat character with both 3D, 3ds Max, Motion Builder, and Maya. Thank you for listening to this demonstration and hope you have fun.